Today, let's dive into some trade analysis. So here we have the D1, H1, and M5 chart. Now, the issue here is pretty straightforward. It's evident that this trader didn't take lessons from me. Let me explain why. And frankly, they probably didn't study at all. The thing is, relying on just one bar, even a sharp one, isn't sufficient. Plus, this is a small paranormal bar for trading false breakouts. Even this scenario isn't typically suitable for false breakouts. You see, to figure out how false breakouts work, there needs to be a significant forward movement. The asset, for instance, should have undergone substantial movement, not just within an hour, but over several days. It requires that momentum for a counter trend move, but there's no such momentum here. I'd say to this person, Maxim Urakov, brush up on your math. Here's why. It's absolutely crucial. You've marked the levels correctly. Everything seems fine. However, this isn't an ideal setup for a false breakout. For a false breakout, let's say, the JPY might have been more suitable today. That's probably the only thing that fits the bill for a Forex false breakout. The reason being, to trade a false breakout on Forex, you need significant and rapid market movement. That's a rarity in Forex. And that's where the lack of basic knowledge comes into play. Okay, moving right along, nice picture, solid level. The five minute chart looks very nice with the volatility fading. You see, it seemed to spike up on those large bars and then the volatility settled down. A very good trade, I really like it. The only thing is, I wouldn't dwell on the minute chart. Try not to switch to the minute charts. Make sure to stick to five minute ones. The one minute chart is too deep, too much unnecessary information. So if I were you, I'd stick to the five minute chart. I'm pretty sure the five minute chart will look exactly like this. The trade in terms of the daily and five minute charts. Well, the five minute chart is solid. Very good. All right, let's continue. This is our D1 chart. This is our five minute chart. This is our H1 chart. D1 chart is a wonderful daily setup. The weekly level is great. It's a very good trade, really nice. It pulled back with the close test, not a deep pullback. It's a very nice setup. A definite five out of five from the daily, weekly, hourly, and five minute chart perspectives. Just a solid five out of five. Who do we have here? This is our guy, Peter Petrov. All right then, let's move on. This is a daily chart, uh, Tesla. I'll tell you straight up, uh, I haven't even checked the daily chart yet. Tesla is quite challenging. I absolutely agree with the level. Uh, the level looks very good. Now, let's examine the entry point. Basically, uh, you've got some luck on your side here. You see, this is where we had to jump back in because there's a candle with a long tail. Well, it's just luck in this case. But looking at the bigger picture, it's a great daily chart. It's pure luck that the volatility is so high. And with Tesla, you can easily get stopped out. Considering that I had to re-enter a second time, it's pretty normal. But the stop loss is relatively tight. Overall, it's a good trade. Tesla is really running wild at the moment. I've paused trading it until it settles down because the stock is moving very aggressively. But all in all, it's a good trade, excellent trade, a very solid day, nicely closed. I just can't see where the stop loss is. Great entry. I just can't see where the stop is. Next time, put in a stop so I can see it. Very nice trade. You're all getting in on the false breakout action. Well, that's also luck. Let me explain why. Even though the level here is really strong, the asset hasn't moved much. Let me illustrate. See, it's luck. From 721 to 717, the asset barely budged. So expecting some major movement, I wouldn't count on it. Well, it's just not my kind of trade. So basically, I just got lucky. There was hardly any chance for us to make this deal successfully. Well, basically, even if you look at it using an hourly chart, it's an okay deal, not bad. On the M5 chart, you can see where to put the stop loss order. I waited for the consolidation behind the level, but let me tell you something. In situations like these, you always need to keep an eye on the daily chart. The daily chart is crucial. Always start by looking at the daily chart. Well, I'll be honest, take a look. It's a really tough daily chart. It's just really challenging. The M5 chart is really tough too. Lots of sawtooth movements. So it's a challenging trade. As for the outcome, as you can see, I didn't even see it. Got stopped out. It's obvious right away. 
I mean, it's a really tough trade. I wouldn't even bother with such trades. Tough on both the daily and M5 chart fronts. So if you tried this five times, your stop would be hit five times. So never mind what the asset did afterward. You need to grasp one thing. Uh, to make money, you need a valid entry point. And if you don't have any setups, then the result is just getting stopped out. A really tough deal. Okay, let's move forward. Make sure to have D1 charts set up because without D1 charts, you never get the full picture, okay? This is a really tough scenario. Uh, I'll show you right now on the daily chart. This is a tough one. It's got a really tricky area, especially right here. It's being pulled into a really tough zone. You see, I haven't even started yet. I haven't checked anything else yet. Just the D1 chart for now, because the daily chart is key. If you don't quite understand the daily chart, there's no point in looking at the five minute chart or even the hourly or anything else. So the daily chart is really challenging. I wouldn't even consider entering. The daily chart is seriously super challenging. Why? Because of those huge sweeping bars. You could get stopped out on every bar, moving right along. Here's a stop loss. Here's the answer to your question. See, it's just a stop. So this is a really tough scenario, a very tough scenario. And honestly, it is in no way a long trade scenario. Understanding that the daily chart is unfavorable is crucial. Try to find clear D1 charts, but there aren't any. Even if you did enter, it would be more luck than a good day. So it's not looking good here at all. Well, maybe theoretically there's a chance for a rebound somewhere. Just theoretically, perhaps. There are some really hefty bars here, big ones. And it's a really tricky area. Tough trade, it's just really intense overall. See, let me explain again. Whenever there's heightened volatility, right here, you've got to be extremely cautious. So, was the level marked correctly? Yes, it was. The level was marked correctly. Let's keep going. This is where those sawtooth movements started. I'm lost as to where you entered the trade. All right, there's accumulation. I agree. It's a solid H1 chart. So, what's next? I don't get it. A breakout deal. I'm totally lost on everything else. I mean, where's the actual trade? Where did you enter? Got it. Got stopped out. Had to re-enter. As for the trade itself, it's pretty good. Well, it's a bit of a roller coaster. But on the decline, it's all good. It's standard stuff here. The hourly chart looks great too. Well, all right. I would jump back into such a trade. 